Carolina will soon be home to electric vehicle maker VinFast. And just hours ago, Governor Cooper made a stop at Central Carolina Community College in Sanford to highlight just how important this is to our state. CBS 17's Ben Boken is live digging deeper into how local schools will help in supplying future workers. Ben. The Vietnamese company originally expected to start production next year at its Chatham County assembly plant, but as of last month, it's delayed until 2025. However, it's a partnership with a local community college that's looking to support the company's future. Right now, it looks like a 2,100-acre pile of dirt in Chatham County. But come 2025, thousands of electric vehicles are expected to drive out of VinFast's $4 billion assembly plant. Before coming here, we think that we can get things done like that quickly, like the same way that we did in Vietnam. But when we realize when we're here, we are on it, we think, oh, we needed more time. Governor Roy Cooper and local leaders gathered at Central Carolina Community College in Sanford, where there's a partnership to train students for work at VinFast. Governor Roy Cooper took a ride in the passenger seat in one of VinFast's electric vehicles Wednesday afternoon. The company delivered its first vehicles to the United States last month. So much has gone into attracting North Carolina's first automobile manufacturing facility. Uh, it would not be wise to just say we're not going to do anything to help train the employees. VinFast estimates the Chatham County plant will bring about 7,500 jobs to the area. Part of that job training will take place at the community college's Moore Center, which is still in need of about $50 million to finish the training facility. The vice president for workforce development tells us there's a request to the state for funding. I was at the construction site for the new VinFast facility earlier this afternoon, and I spoke with some of the construction workers. They told me blasting should be finished as soon as tomorrow, and they expect the buildings to start to pop up and take form uh, by the end of this year. We're live here in Sanford. Ben Boken, CBS 17 News. It'll be interesting yes. to see how it all shapes up. Ben, thank you.